So, making the brushes for the Van de Graaff. Now, um, with the Van de Graaff, the brushes, or the uh, material the brushes are made from, is probably one of the least critical things. You can make it from lots and lots of different things. Uh, one thing you can make it from is standard wire. You can just um, cut off some lengths, strip off the end, spread out the strands, and then snip the strands across straight, and that will do as a brush. Uh, another thing you can do is you can get some of this. Uh, it comes in sheets of A4, it's copper. Uh, you get it from an arts and crafts shop like Hobbies R Us and they use it for embossing kits. But it is good copper. Uh, it's a bit, th it's thin so it's easy to cut and easy to bend. Um, you may want to bend it over double, but um, anything sharp will do. So a piece of this and some pinking shears and then just snip through it with the pinking shears. will give you two shapes like that with serrated edges uh, and those will do as the brush as well because we've got nice sharp points on them so you could use that as the brushes now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this which is a strip of brass that I've got and I'm going to uh, attach some ordinary pins to that brass and then I'm going to sweat them on um, sweating is just soldering different materials. Now, you can't do them one at a time because if you try to do that, then um, you'll find that by the time you've got one off, one on, and you try to put the next one on, the first one you put on is just going to um, drop straight back off. So what you need to do is find some way of attaching it. And a great way of doing that is to get a piece of wire, and wrap the wire around quite tightly, take yourself a pin, now you have to remember which side you're going to solder and on this one I'm going to solder the underneath so I put the pin on the underneath and with my wire you can see that I take it round the pin and back and then round the pin and back and pull it tight okay so what that's done is that will hold that pin on but there's no actual wire here all the wire is actually on the back side of it so when I apply the solder to the pin then it's not going to solder the wire to it Okay, so you, you do that, and then you take your next pin, put it underneath, and remember, keep in mind which side you're going to solder. Okay, so the ne next pin's now on, I take it underneath, around that one, underneath, so it keeps this side clear, and then underneath again, and pull it tight. Okay, you don't need to worry about it being a bit squiffy at this stage, just keep on going and pulling it, uh, pulling it tight and you'll get a row of these pins and after you've done that then in true Blue Peter fashion here's one I prepared earlier okay there we go so there's a whole load of those pins all wired on and I've put them all in a line and that's now ready to take away and solder together now in positioning these things when it comes to putting the combs in position you need to think about the direction that the thing is going to turn so this is the top roller and if it's turning in that direction Okay, which is the way this one's going to turn. If it turns in that direction, then the combs need to be go on the top roller, just where the belt leaves the roller. Uh, yeah, just where the belt leaves the roller. Hang on a sec. No, my mistake. Just where the belt joins the roller. So we'd have to have it turning that way. So I just turn it around that way. Okay. So as it goes, the pins will be here at the point where the belts join the roller. And in this case, that will be about there. So what I'll do is put a little bit of a block in there to help me to hold that the right position just so it's there. Now as they join, as it just joins the roller on the bottom the pins are positioned just where it leaves the roller. Okay so the belt is coming in this direction to this direction, roller's turning that way and the belt will leave the roller on this side and the pins need to come just where the belt leaves. Okay so just to reiterate that the position of the combs on the bottom is where the um, belt just leaves the roller and on the top it's where the belt just joins the roller and they're both on the same side okay now um, the other thing you need to think about as you're soldering all this stuff together is that the pins on the bottom of the roller are going to be grounded so they need some kind of ground connection now what I'm using is a bit of this which is uh, some 6mm earth cable that I happen to have around I'm going to trim that off and as all these are all held together then I shall solder that piece of cable uh, oh, there you go, they're all held together and I shall solder that piece of cable on at the same time and then I'll clean all the wires, all, all the wires off and clean it all up Okay. and the same with the top one 
but on the top one what you need to do is make sure that the length of cable that you're using is long enough so that it gets to about the middle of the sphere something like that okay well I'm gonna go and make this stuff and then show you when it's made so here are my collecting combs there we go okay it's uh, quite there you go quite fine so the sharper these are the better uh, and there they are soldered onto a nice bit of thick well insulated copper it's going to be used for the various grounding wires and there's the other one okay so here's the again the top roller and this comb with a nice long bit with a nice long bit here is going to go there just as so a little space room there just as the belt joins the roller okay that's where it goes this long tail it's going to be bent up so that it touches the inside of the sphere, round about the middle. 